let's see how good your powder really is. Look what the best traditional powder can do. Here's a powder that cleans visibly better. Aerial Ultra. Gold lowest. So low in fat, you can't get much lower. Here at Vidal Sassoon, we often work with both mousse and hairspray to create great styles. Now you can do it with just one. New Vidal Sassoon style and finish. There's never been anything like it. On wet hair, it styles like a mousse. Try it, Jackie. On dry hair, it holds like a hairspray. Feels great, right? New Vidal Sassoon style and finish. Great style, great finish in one. Because we've spent the time creating a mouth-watering lasagna, you could spend your time on another course. Menu Master, a taste of freedom. <laughs> so I just learned about this thing in nature called a food chain. You see, it's like, well, a big scary shark eats fish, and big fish eat little fish, and little fish eat vegetables or tiny weird things that you can't even see with a microscope. Blah, 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 blah. The confusing thing is, I eat Kellogg's toppers, and so do all my friends. So, what do toppers eat? Kellogg's toppers, for non-stoppers. Milk, I guess. Maybe spoons. Maybe small children. <laughs> Right now, it's time for Spats, and Karen discovers that TJ's girlfriend, oh, his girlfriend, Julie, is working in the burger bar, and she's not very happy about it. Let's have a look. just wanted to say what a fine restaurant you have here. What? Lovely food and such excellent and efficient service. Especially that charming young man on the till. Oh, uh, thank you very much. This is a whole new experience for me. I appreciate it. Thanks very much, Momsy. I'll see you later. All right. Bye, Dixie. Mm. I trust you're all well and happy today. Good, good, excellent. But keep working. Carry on. TJ! <laughs> Can I have a word with you in the office, please? Whatever happened to Strickland office now? Oh, you're such a sweetie sometimes. Come, come. Did I just see what I think I saw? Depends what you think you saw. I thought I saw Karen in a good mood. Well, then you did see what you think you saw. I thought so. <laughs> Karen, it's wonderful to see you in such a good mood. What, what, what happened? I've had some wonderful news. Oh, let me guess, you won 150 pounds in a bite the head off a chicken contest. Even better. <laughs> Our beloved founder and president of the entire Spats empire, Louis Frappelli, has had a bust up with his wife. They're getting a divorce. That's good news? It is for me. How? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? I've worshipped that man for years. The only thing that stood between him and me was that mink-coated, over-made-up sack of bones he called a wife. Hey, 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 don't hold back. Say what you really feel about Mrs. Frappelli. <laughs> the old Mrs. Frappelli or the new Mrs. Frappelli? Who's the new Mrs. Frappelli? Uh, no. I <laughs> get you? What do you mean, me? What, am I the elephant man's mother? <laughs> me and Louis were made for each other. He's rich, powerful, and has a weakness for beautiful women. Yeah? So, where do you fit in? <laughs> <laughs> cute joke, Strickland. Not funny, but cute. In a year's time, I'll be Karen Frappelli, the first lady of spats. There's only one teensy-weensy little problem. What's that? How do I get to meet the sucker? <laughs> Burger. Yes. A vegetarian soya bean patty in a dry, 
whole meal back. Yes. <laughs> I knew we'd sell one eventually. You Wally, you just cost me a fiver. <laughs> Thanks, James. Here, TJ, I've been thinking. I saw this film once, right, where all these ugly little pink aliens popped out of this giant pea pod. And then, when people was asleep, they sawed off the tops of their heads, stole their brains, and replaced them with mashed potato. And then, when the people woke up, they was all walking around with big goofy smiles on their faces. And the point is? Well, I think that's what's happened to Karen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. Uh, guys, listen up, guys. Something real special's just come in. The hunt is on to find the model spats employee. I didn't know they made model spats employees. Yeah, yeah, they wind them up and then they spit all over the customers. <laughs> what for, TJ? It's for a worldwide poster campaign. Worldwide poster campaign. Look no further, TJ. I'm your man. Staff are requested to submit a photograph and complete the slogan I like working at Spats because in 12 words or less. Another naff ploy to keep the downtrodden workers' minds off their long hours and paltry wages. Well, I think it's disgusting. I don't want any part of it. Well, there's a 250 pound bonus for the person whose picture appears on the poster. I bet that one. No, no, uh, uh, Freddie, photographs have to be of a professional standard and are requested to reach Spats by... It is tomorrow. Tomorrow! This letter's a month old. Oh, well, that counts us out, doesn't it? Not necessarily. What? You know a cheap, quick photographer, do you? Cheap, quick, but vastly talented. I'll be back in a flash. I okay. guess just a book in the mirror, come on. Oh, dub, 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 dub. Vince, listen to me, man. The last time your ugly mug was on a poster, it had wanted. Dead or alive written on top. Oh, very witty, and that coming from a man who moonlights as a Freddy Krueger kissogram. Get out of it. Oh, what a pair of poses, for crying out loud. Why don't you get away from that mirror and get back to work? Who, Who died, died and, and made, made you, you Karen? Karen. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of photographer supposed to be coming then, Vince? Mm. <laughs> no. When he heard he was taking pictures of you, he impaled himself on his tripod. Don't you just hate it when that happens? Oh, no, I think it's me. The chief but vastly talented photographer just walked through the door. Yeah, well, I'm second, second best, but you can have third best. I'll let that pass, Vince. You know, have you know I am a darn fine photographer? I mean, I got all this stuff here. I got tripods and umbrellas and meters and... What about a camera? <laughs> oh, shoot, I hate it when that happens. Just goes to show you get what you pay for. <laughs> What? I don't believe it. Well, when? How long for? What? What? To, what time? Yeah, hang on. What airport? Uh, Ducades. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Great. I owe you one, Betty. Somebody up there likes me. Good. Because nobody down here does. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing you can say or do is going to upset me today, Strickland. Guess who's coming to town? Santa Claus? Nice try, Strickland. Nice try. But you can't touch me. I'm on cloud nine. Okay, so who's coming? Louis. Couple load of my bank balance Frappelli. <laughs> Mr. Frappelli's coming to London? When? Tomorrow at 7 a.m. on his own private jet. Holy moly, that only gives me 18 hours to make myself look gorgeous. Well, I'm waiting for it, Groucho. Where's the joke? There is no joke. You're gorgeous. Good night, dear. <laughs> Good night, Dexter. Good. <laughs> she just called me Dexter. Karen called me Dexter. The strange times we're living through, old buddy. Yeah. Next thing you know, they'll be knocking down the Berlin Wall. Okay, so who's gonna go first? You, Stanley? Oh, no thanks, TJ. When I was a kid, my mum threw away my school photograph and stuck the negative in the album. <laughs> well, you don't have to if you don't want to. So, who's it gonna be? Me! 
You'll all get a chance. Debbie, you're first. Come on over here. I all this favoritism. Papa. Let's see here. Yep. Okay. Great. Let's see. Good. Perfect. All right. Nice. 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 Have tea, tea? Yeah. Well, at least I've got some tea. I mean, what do you look like? <laughs> you look like that uh, famous actress. You know, the one that was in that film with uh, Gregory Peck. Ingrid Bergman? No. Audrey Hepburn? Kaylee Minogue? No, Moby Dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's be honest. Come on, they're naff. We all look like a bunch of wallies. Hey, I think they're professional, really. Well-focused, nicely lit wallies, but wallies all the same. Mm. Yeah, man. This ugly wally's got a point there, you know, TJ. I mean, how? How can I look cool in this stupid pink outfit? This is not the crucial Dexter Williams. Yeah, can we not wear our own clothes? Yeah, be ourselves. Yeah. Look yeah. so what you've done to us. Stripped away our individuality and reduced us to an army of faceless automatons. Well, I'm not having it, TJ. I refuse to be represented as just another brick in the wall. Stanley, I didn't take your picture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oi, some service. What are you doing back here? Oh, can't you do them again, TJ? Yeah, but this time try to capture the real us. OK, if you feel that strongly about it, we'll give it another shot, but we don't have much time. Uh, after lunch? Oh, great! <laughs> good morning, Miss Hanson. Um, just a quick word with you while you're in a good mood, you know. You probably haven't noticed, but I'm a man that's well into my career. And, uh, anyway, I was thinking, um, Dexter Williams, you get yourself down to management training college. Learn how to do things right, boy. You know what I mean? Not like TJ. Hey, hey. I think you know what I'm saying, Cal. So anyway, they sent me this application form just here. And I just need you to sign that bit. There, Cal. I'm there. Things are back to normal again. <laughs> I get the feeling something went terribly wrong at the airport. How do you know what happened at the airport? What are you, Nostradamus? So what happened? Something went terribly wrong at the airport. Oh, TJ! Uh, hey, 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 that's, that's, that's okay. Did, just tell me what happened. Did, did Mr. Propelli give you the big E? There you go again. All right, then don't tell me what Don't you dare tell me what to tell you. I'll tell you who's going to tell who what. So there I am. I get to the airport. I'm all psyched up to meet for Pelly. He steps off the plane, walks straight towards me, and I open my mouth, and you know what I said? Uh-uh. Nothing. Zip. Zero. Zilch. Karen Hansen said nothing? Get me Norris McWhorter right away. What? To get his book of records. <laughs> Why is it impossible to have an adult conversation with you? The man I want to marry is standing there just a kiss away. And I have a whole speech I've prepared in my mind and I've re rehearsed it a thousand times. And I open my mouth and all that comes out is... I can't hear you. Neither did for pain. <laughs> He was halfway through passport control while I was still glued to the tarmac. <laughs> I'm an emotional pauper. Oh, no, of course you're not. Don't touch me! <laughs> it's useless. I'm bearing my soul to Roger Rabbit. Okay, hey, look, I, 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 I'm sorry. What can I say? Say something to help me. Like what? I don't know. You're a man. Near enough. You put yourself in Frappelli's shoes. What could I do to win your heart? Okay, okay, okay. You're asking a serious question. I'll give you a serious answer. 
Uh, if, if a beautiful girl with long hair came and serenaded me in the moonlight, I'd sit up and take notice. You're, you're darn tootin' I would. That's just stupid. Isn't it? <laughs> you expect me to humiliate myself by crooning outside a man's bedroom window? He's not a man. He's a billionaire. Can I borrow your guitar? Ocean Spats. Ocean Spats. Coffee and fries. Coffee and fries. Coming right up. Next, please. I'd like eight Maxi Spats, three with cheese, two roosters, four large fries, two chocolate milkshakes, a tea, a coffee, two apple pies, and a dill nut. I... What was that again? Eight Maxi Spats, three with cheese, two roosters... OK, Vince, we're all set. Let's go. All right, good, good. A little more scowl, a little rougher, all right? OK, hang on, hold it, hold it. Yep. Oh, brilliant. All right, all right. Good man. One more. There we are. Good stuff. Uh, how about showing off my tattoo? You have a tattoo? Well. Cute. Very cute. Oi, 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 oi. There's other people out here that want their photos took, you know? Look, listen, you just move. Hang in there, Vince. I'll be right back. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but TJ, I'll... <laughs> yeah, TJ, man. What do you reckon? Have I Mr. Spats or am I Mr. Spats? I mean, keep that camera down, man. I've got a competition to win. <laughs> Oh, oh, what a steaming pilchard you look, Dexter. <laughs> yeah, well, look, this steaming pilchard's going to be 250 quid up, Vince. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to bet on that, penguin? Yeah, Vince, I'll have a bet with you on that. You're wrong. 50 quid, Vince. Yeah, you got it right enough. Right now. Boy, you did. That's right. I was wearing this dress first, and you just copied me. Because you couldn't be better than you. Why don't you two try to learn to settle your differences peacefully? You know what I mean? Come together, be together, love one another, then go and rip up Vince's leather pants for me. And one donut. No, oh, it's a lark being a coach driver. Oh, you're a coach driver. I thought you were just really hungry. I am. It's my day off. See ya. Yes, please. Nothing, thanks. <laughs> you must have to deal with all sorts in here. Oh, yes. The long, the short and the tall. The good, the bad and the ugly. The lion, the witch and the wardrobe, they all come in here. <laughs> well, it's nice to see someone enjoying his work. You like it here, do you? Oh, yeah. I mean, what I always say is, people come in here fed up and we send them out well fed. <laughs> Now, what can I get you? The manager, please. Oh. Are you going to complain about my joke? Oh, no, no, no. I, I would just like to see Mr Strickland. Oh, right. Uh, sorry, folks. Back in a trice. Or failing that, a Skoda. <laughs> TJ! <laughs> TJ! Now, what's the matter with you two? Guys, give it a rest. Go back to village people, man. Right? What's the matter, right? How are the guys supposed to work? Hey, you two, no, I told you to just leave me alone. TJ, I'm ready. He keeps on going on publicly. How are you to be saints, man? Yeah. What? Stay still. What? Damn, man. Damn. Right. For that, yeah. you eat knuckle. Dexter Williams. TJ! Can it, will you fellas? Excuse me. Oh, Stanley, you just got a little bit Stanley, what are you doing here? There's a lady out front wants to speak to you. What? A lady for you. Well, can't you see I'm busy here? Just, you just go and tell it. Just, just get out of my face! TJ! What? Right, good, sure. Okay, yeah. 
sorry. Uh, the manager says he's very sorry, but he's right in the middle of some really important work. I can't wait. I'll call him. Thank you, uh, Stanley. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, Stan, quick, I'm at his fats. Cheese? No, 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 with ketchup. <laughs> sure, so, so if I just send you the film, that's okay? And I'm in time to meet the deadline. All right, great. Now I get the film here. I'll bike it over to you tonight. Yeah, yeah, great. Thanks a lot. I owe you one. Yeah, just a sec. I'll be right with you. <laughs> Karen, is that you in there? What do you reckon? Is for probably gonna like what he sees. Well, if, once he gets his eyes back in his head and rolls back his tongue, he'll probably tell you himself. You know, if I was 20 years older, a billion dollars richer, I'd probably... Stop! I can't bear it! I can't stand any more jokes! Do you have the address? Uh, oh, yeah, it's here. Uh, he's staying at a place in Hampstead. Thank you, I can read. <laughs> oh, my briefcase. <laughs> well, you reading this again. There you are, ma'am. Yeah, at all, and before you go, I'll just take down your phone number. There you are, ma'am. Vince. What? Vince. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm mopping the floor. That's what I'm doing. Vince, I've been trying to chat up this girl for the past four weeks, man. Excuse me. You've blown my chances, Vince. It is, Karen. I told you it was. Are you off out somewhere, Miss Hansen? Yes, Fergie. I'm off the job and out of here forever. This is the last you'll see of Karen Hansen. Oh. At least somebody's sorry to see me go. No, it's not that. I'll just bit my tongue. Lucky I'm not a vegetarian. A man is on fire. A man is on fire. So what was that all about? I just bit my tongue. I weren't talking to you, Stan. I was talking to Vince. Oh, so you're talking to me now, are you? Yes, Vince. Now, do you want to make something of it? Yes, I do. Give me that! Oh, give me that! Give me that! Oh, 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 give me that, mutt, man! Give it. What's happened to us all? We used to be such good mates. It's that stupid competition. Let's get teething at each other's necks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're behaving like a bunch of kids. Oh, look, I'm sorry, mate. Yeah, well, cool, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, man. You know, it's just nice, 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 nice. After all, what's more important? Getting on with the people you work with? Or winning some piddly poster contest? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, guys, I'm just about to mail this film off. Uh, anybody get their slogans ready? Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hang on, here he comes. Get those cattle rolling. How do? The usual. Oh, no, no, no. I'm on duty today. I've got a coach load of thirsty punters outside on the bus, so... So you'll be wanting one banana milkshake and 43 straws. <laughs> right. Miss Hanson? Miss Hanson? Miss Hanson? <laughs> Angels one fire, Roger. <laughs> Hit him at three o'clock. <laughs> Three o'clock, right? Could you have the uh, burgers here? But good, thank you. Good, but sit, sit down here. You look like you've been dragged through a hedge backwards. I have been dragged through a hedge backwards. Huh? You and your stupid half-baked ideas. Sing to him outside his bedroom window. Sure. Here, what went wrong? Didn't he like your singing? I have no idea, but the guard dogs sure didn't. Guard dogs? Chased me around the garden 14 times till the security man moved in. What, did they pull them off? They had to. They didn't want any of them to get shot. There were guns at you? Only after they ran out of tear gas. That's terrible. Still, eventually, the police arrived. Well, did, they, did they rescue you? Not exactly. They threw me in the slammer. They put you in jail? Just call me 3290. I'm sorry things didn't work out better. Better luck next time, huh? Is that all you can say? Well, uh, I guess this means you're back on the payroll. Somebody to see you, TJ. Huh? Yeah, I'll be right there, okay? Uh, don't cry in the comments, huh? Right? Get out! Angela Ramsden. 
Oh, right, Spats PR. We spoke on the phone. About the poster competition. I sent the film over last night by bike. It should have got to you. Oh, I got it. We have a winner. <laughs> you don't mean one of our... Uh-huh, Mr. Strickland. Someone from your branch. Yes. Right. yes! All right, all right. I knew I could do it, man. I knew I could do it. I knew I could do it. The ideal Spats employee. Polite, friendly, efficient. And as he himself says, he likes working at Spats because people come in here fed up and they go away well fed. What? It was the best 12 word slogan we got and the cutest picture. All right, Stanley. Well done, Stan. <laughs> On the next episode of Spats, in the event of a fire breaking out anywhere in the restaurant, the alarm will be triggered and the customers must be evacuated immediately. Yeah, this way, madam. Yeah, this way, madam. Yeah. What am I going to do? Fire! Fire! Where's that leaflet? Karen? Karen? I can't believe this is happening! Stop gawping and get out in the mall! Don't you dare talk to me like that! You want to be burned alive? I'm in the mall. A new book featuring all your favourite Spats characters has just been published by Thames Mammoth. Oh, I'm so glad that Stan won the poster competition and next week we'll see TJ's Girlfriends. Watch out for that. On Sunday at 9.25, don't forget it's the Disney Club and Candy Flip will be performing their new single, Red Hill Road, live. My friend's back.